Hi, my name's Kayleen Flanagan and I teach at Porotafo School. Our school, like most schools in the community, are finding that our students are displaying more disruptive, antisocial and violent tendencies. I wanted to find out how we could help these students and how we could help the teachers cope with these students and help the families. So to find this out, I went on a bit of a journey. I introduced the Peer Mediation Cool Schools programme. We also introduced the Kiva programme, which is an anti-bullying programme, and did a whole school behaviour management step policy where the children work their way out of getting in trouble basically. Right over here we have our code of conduct and then this is our STEP program. At our school we agree that students have the right to learn, teachers have the right to teach, everyone has the right to feel safe and happy and nobody has the right to take these rights away from anyone else. Hi, I'm Ella Easton and I'm a mediator at Potatapa School. I thought it'd be really cool helping kids resolve their problems because I was probably once or twice in a mediation. So normally when we're on duty, we're out in the playground and on the field. It does work for some students, but others like, they just don't really care, but it's definitely made a difference with some of the kids that were not behaving so well because they know that there will be a consequence. When a teacher comes in and solves it, they just automatically think they're in trouble. If each child helps each other to learn these skills, it's more powerful in the children themselves solving the problems. We have assemblies where we do productions explaining what cool school means, so we have a lot of fun with it. It's woven throughout our whole school. So maybe Izzy could play with the doll for morning tea time and then you guys could play with it at lunch time. Like the juniors, they can sort out their arguments, although they're quite simple arguments. They can say, I feel upset when you call me names and they can, you know, they can sort their issues out before it becomes like a little a little scuffle. Yeah, there's been less things coming back from breaks. I'm sure every teacher can relate to the issue of kids coming back after your break and the first thing you're confronted with when you come back to the classroom is three or four kids but that have had an issue and it's up to you to deal with it. And they understand things like taking turns, taking turns of talking to each other and listening to the other person's opinion and hearing their side of it. We actually had uh, within our team a little dispute this morning where things, people's feelings were really hurt. Um, it was very important to them and each side was very upset and within 10 minutes they'd talked about it, they'd discussed what would make it right and the next thing I saw was the two that had the big issues walking off together doing a job together on their own bat. You've got to tell someone, you just can't keep it bottled up because that can make you really upset and you just, yeah, you got to tell the person what's going on and just be straight up and tell the truth. I don't think kids her age, you know, generally have the skills to do that unless they've been taught it and they've done it themselves. On the wall here we have our five kind of characters. The turtle is kind of like a bit shy. He would go off sulking if something went wrong. And then we have our shark, the mean person pretty much. We've got the fox and then we've got our teddy bear. He wants everything to be peaceful. And we have our owl and he wants to make everything a win-win. One of the things that we've talked to the mediators about is knowing when the issue is too big for them to deal with through mediation. If they think that this is an issue with severe violence or um, with bullying, then it's important that they know to pass that on to us. That's part of the training that they receive in the first place. My two year journey putting these things in place has been great, but I have come to the conclusion that sometimes it's bigger than the teacher and the school. Although the majority of the kids have found these programs have done really well, it's the top tier of kids that have more problems going on than I think teachers are able to deal with, teachers are able to understand. What I have found is that these children tend to move on. So they move on, they get a fresh start at a new school and all the things that they need help with have been lost. I wish I had the answers but the problem is, you know, when we had our tough kids go off, the help wasn't there when we needed it and the damage was done, it was too late. The violence had happened and 
the agencies couldn't, their hands were tied. So it's a hard one. So moving forward, I want to look into how we can still help these kids um, and find the right resources for them and for the teachers to teach them to understand better the conditions they have and, and how, how we can help them and their families.